First of all, I'm blown away by uh, your comments and support, and it's just really awesome to be talking to you guys. I've never, I've, I'm, <laughs> I haven't met anyone who stuttered before, and I guess, or if I did, I didn't know. But it's just really great uh, to be talking to you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. I love to hear from you. Keep commenting, keep messaging me, whatever you want to do. Keep talking to me, because I love to hear from all of you guys. Um, so story time. A funny thing happened in my exploring literacy class. Um, and it's it's an exploring literacy class, and there's like eight people in it, and it's like a writing class, but it's also pretty discussion based. I mean, as far as she asks questions a lot and wants us to answer her, and I usually don't enjoy that kind of thing, but there's only like eight of us, so it's kind of hard to avoid, or it's kind of obvious that I'm like the only one not talking. But so far I hadn't really come up yet, and um, there was what I like to call an incident today. I did a free write, and then she said she wanted us to read it out loud. Like not all of it, just to pick, pick a part of it and kind of go around and read. and. I was waiting, and, and as usual, whenever I know ahead of time that I'm going to have to do some kind of public speaking, I'm like, you know, initial thing is freaking out, like, oh my gosh, I get, like, run away, and then it moves to kind of, like, psyching myself up, you know, like, I'm imagining it all going smoothly and picturing, like, I can read slowly and enunciate, and it'll be fine, but then, you know, I open my mouth, and I'm like, I, I... I was trying to get to suppose, and I never got that far. Suppose, just everything gets much harder. Just trying to read a couple sentences. If I could snap my fingers, can you hear that? Sort of, not really. Okay. If I, I just felt like I'm saying, I'm sitting there going, I, I, and I probably threw a few ums in there because I always, pretty much always do, and I was like, gosh. And I had this feeling, like everyone knew what was going on. Like, usually, usually when I start stuttering or blocking in front of people, I feel this need to explain myself. I feel, feel this general sense of confusion, like, what's going on? And it was really odd, because I didn't feel that. There was, like, this click in my head. It was this weird sort of feeling, like, all of a sudden I felt like everyone understood. And it was interesting, because when I was like, gosh, when I did that, a couple people laughed, but it wasn't, I mean, I've, had people like laugh awkwardly like that when I'm stuck, kind of like, well, my God, this is really awkward. What's going on? Kind of laugh, but it was a laugh like, like it was funny. Like they were agreeing with me. Like I was like, gosh, frustration, but also like this is a little bit funny and ridiculous. And a couple people kind of like chuckled. This didn't go on for a long time. I just, I didn't. It was once the gosh and everything kind of went whoosh, like in a movie. I was like, whoa. And then the professor asked, would you like me to read that for you? And I was like, um... And I was thinking... I just... You know, my my um, automatic response is like, yes, please take this away. But then part of me was like, no, I need to do this myself. But I ended up like, she was offering. And I said, well, okay. And then she was coming over day, I said, if it must be read. And people laughed. But... it's. The other frustrating part is I can switch, it's just so easy, like seemingly, to switch back and forth between reading and can't say anything to like <clears throat> coming out of reading and I can talk sometimes. And it was, it's just so weird and that what makes this harder to explain to, pe to people, but um, she came over and read it out, out loud, it was just a couple sentences, um, what I had written and commented on it like normal as she was walking back to her desk and that was near the end of class and at the end uh, when I was pit putting my stuff get together she said I want to talk to you after, or I want to talk to you and so I was waiting for her to finish and people left and and she was like I, w I was expecting like some kind of like so what's the matter with you are you I mean like do you have problems? I mean, because you're going to need to figure something out that's not going to work, or some kind of just like, so yeah, what's going on? I was expecting the need to have to explain myself, because I usually do. But everyone leaves, and she says, I am so sorry. I did not, I, I didn't realize you had difficulties. I felt like an idiot up there. And she's she's Greek. I can't do the, Greece, the Greek accent. But um, she's like, I felt like an idiot up there. I'm so sorry. I, I've 
if, if I had realized that you were uncomfortable, that you had difficulty, then I wouldn't have made you read. I'm so sorry. And I was like, oh. It was, I was just like kind of this feeling like overwhelmed slash overjoyed. Like I can't believe she's actually just skipping past the whole what's going on to the next step of like, of like dealing with it. And and it was just really strange. And I was like, what? <laughs> like no, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Like it hadn't come up yet. And like I I, I might have told you warned you sooner. Just said something like I'll just I'll just plan on. Uh, reading your stuff for you from now on. And I was like, oh, okay. It was kind of awkward. I didn't really know how to respond, but at the same time, it was really, really cool. And I just kind of wanted to share this story. Um, sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought, but I think that was the end anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll stop there. Things are... I feel like I'm, I'm at a cool spot where, like, people just know, and we're working through it, and it's totally fine no one minds, and it's a really nice place to be at, um, in one class, in a way. So, yeah, again, thanks to everyone, uh, for watching and commenting, and, yeah, I gotta go. There's gonna be, like, a fire drill in five minutes, and I know this because I'm the RA's roommate.